And when consciousness collapses, each of these possibilities, we get sensing, thinking, feeling, and intuiting. That mind and brain, both are possibilities of consciousness, immediately solves the problem. We have found the mediator. It's non-local consciousness, which mediates the interaction of mind, brain, mind and physical, and the vital and the supramental. All are connected via consciousness. Vital energy is connected with the movement of morphogenetic field. When we feel a movement of the morphogenetic field, that's, that is the blueprint of an organ, we feel that movement, and that is what we call a feeling. Now, why is the, these organs connected with these feelings? The organs are representations of the vital body, which has the body plans for making the organs. So a feeling must be connected with the functioning of the organ that made a representation of the morphogenetic field. So uh, again, coming back to one of our well-known chakra points, uh, take the heart chakra. Everybody wants to get energy in their heart. What is the heart chakra about? Well, primarily it's about romantic love. Why is it associated with love? Let's think about it. I said that there is always an organ there, and this organ that is there is not so much the heart, but the important organ is thymus gland. This thymus gland is part of the major part of the immune system. And what is the immune system responsible for? It helps us to distinguish me and not me. So now, suppose your immune system accepts somebody else accepts another person as you. Correspondingly, we feel the vital energy of the morphogenetic field that was the blueprint of that important thymus gland of the immune system. The feeling is of romantic love. You are mine, right? So in this way, vital energies are connected with our feelings. Very simply, look, I am in love with you if you are acceptable by my immune system. 